My name is Duddy, said I'll build some stuff. Got this sidearm today, I crafted it, but this rolly of beacon round swashbuckler is absolutely insane for Song of Flame builds and Consecration and Melee builds, but specifically Song of Flame, because as we know with Song of Flame, it's already pretty cracked. But if you use your melee in the super, which you do, you're going to get your times 5 as swashbuckler going all of the time. And you're going to have it up all of the time with your prismatic. So get an absolutely massive damage increase. So stay with me, I'll break it all down. Now, the sidearm that I actually crafted firstly was Pugilist Incandescent. Now, this one's pretty good for my uh, poison build that I did yesterday, my necrotic poison build. But the aberrant action that I actually really wanted which I am going to craft later today, is Beacon Rounds and Swashbuckler. Now, Beacon Rounds is sort of a, new, a newish perk, but final blows with this weapon, grant your projectiles tracking, dealing further damage, extend this duration, so it basically gives this rocket sidearm uh, tracking rockets, which is absolutely crazy. On top of that, we've got Swashbuckler. This weapon gains increased damage from melee kills and kills with this weapon. It acts a little bit like Rampage. It starts off at 6% and goes all the way up to 33.7%. So you can get a 33.7% damage increase with Swashbuckler and it activates straight away from melee kills and it's also got the origin trait on there, Radio Laria Transposer. Rapid final blows cause these targets to explode into a pool of Radio Larian fluid. The first thing I want to sort of show you is how good the beacon rounds actually are. I know, like I said, I'm not going to spend too long on this. I know they've been out a little while now, but beacon rounds, just being able to hip fire targets, whether they're in the air, like airborne targets, things like Grimms, things like that, things like Harding on the uh, rooftop, sniping you, just being able to hip fire beacon rounds feels really good. But Swashbuckler, this weapon gains increased damage from melee kills and kills with this weapon. You can stack it by getting kills with your... Uh, sidearm, I'll go times one to times five, but as soon as you get a melee kill, it's going to instantly put you up to a swashbuckler times five, which is a 33% damage increase. And obviously, if you're in a melee, you're putting radiant on top of there as well. So, radiant and swashbuckler going on at the same time uh, is just super, super strong. That's 33% plus 25% with your radiant, and it's pretty easy to keep your swashbuckler times going in your Song of Flame Super. Because the Song of Flame super, as we know, it's already pretty strong anyway. While Song of Flame is active, you want your nearby allies to regenerate uh, abilities more quickly. You have more resistance to damage incoming. And you get infinite grenades, infinite melees for about 10 seconds. So your melee will proc your uh, swashbuckler whilst you're in the super. And while you're in there, you're getting scorched. Don't forget for all your solar weapons and kinetic weapons via your Song of Flame. So you're going to get a massive damage increase. Loads of damage reduction, your swashbuckler is 33%, your radiant is 25% and if you pick up an orb of power in between that as well, you're going to get a further 17 or 22% uh, weapon charge depending on how many weapon surges you were running, solar weapon surges. So you can just absolutely extend this super if you like, make that sidearm hit like an absolute monster and it's so easy to prop the swashbuckler on Song of Flame Warlocks. There is some other builds that Swashbuckler will be really good with. I'm thinking like Liar's Handshake, Warlock, uh, Hunters, Consecration Titans, even things like Caliban's Hand uh, is going to be really, really good with this sidearm. So Swashbuckler is a definite must for me on this. It's absolutely cracked and it one taps, two taps, quite a lot of decent enemies in the game. And again, Radiance is anti-barrier. As long as you take your unstoppable sidearm off, you will have anti-barrier on this sidearm as well. What more do you want? Get an instant proc of your swashbuckler going. Massive damage plus your Radiant. Really, really good. Now again, Prismatic Supers. You can also pop your Prismatic, fire your melees out, and you've literally got infinite swashbuckler going and your Radiant with the correct setup. Now, I did do a video yesterday, like I said at the beginning of the video, like a, a poison build for Song of Flame. This actually fits this pretty nicely as well. You've got your swashbuckler going all the time. Your Radiant, Devour, everything going poison. Really, really, really strong. And then on top of that, again, you've got that Beacon Rounds. Just to sit there and hit fire if you're feeling lazy. Beacon Rounds are absolutely cracked too. So that's the rule. Uh, like I said, I did craft uh, Incandescent and Pugilist. That's another good one. But I really, really think Swashbuckler is one that's probably overlooked. Definitely, if you get it, don't chuck it away. Maybe consider crafting it. I'd highly recommend it. It's really, really strong. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.